Welcome to my This has been a project. It started back in late 2019, early 2020. And if you look to your right, you'll see the trees get cut back before I change jobs. And I'm sorry about the date. I had a different camera and I didn't change the date on it. But this goes into the correct one and then I change jobs. And I also skipped a a lot of time but facing south into the bridge and as you can see they started to take stuff down now while they were doing this they were also taking down the mountain that is on the was on the east side of the bridge and i remember driving home from work watching dump trucks climb up the hill and then go across and then come back down and i got to tell you they had couple dozen trucks while this was going on just running non-stop getting filled up and taken out they moved hundreds of thousands of tons of dirt but once they started digging down here on the right side to make space for the road that path was gone so they dug out all of this on the right stabilized the ground and then they uh, set it up as quickly as they could to put pavement on it so they could do the lane shift and start building on the east side. Since this is facing south, but it just continued to dig out to prepare for the paving on that east side all this time that I was working second shift and was coming in during the daytime. Nighttime views were pretty amazing too, but it was fast and furious for digging it all out. But then I changed shifts again. This is going back to north facing because I changed jobs again. I work second shift and I work first shift in the same company. But they've got all the area to the left and then they start cutting down the sides. And you can see the path that the trucks would come down there above the cutback. But they start cutting back on both sides, and I had that truck in the way, so that they could begin building the bridge. And they had to start with the foundations. And while they did cut down a huge amount on the east side on the right, they did cut down on the left and they built the foundation for the west side long before they got to where they could start building on the east side. And you'll see the crane there. That crane was actually lifting rebar and other things up so that they could build the, the west side foundation. And you can see it there pretty much done. So then they came back over to the east side and they started building the foundation and gathering materials and so forth to start this process and it was really amazing to watch I, I really wish that I'd gone up on top of the bridge and gotten more pictures but I had to talk myself into walking out on the bridge because it's a very low railing but after I talked myself into it I was like dang I should have done this earlier because I missed a lot of the pictures of the the build but when there wasn't a truck in the way, I got a decent view of what was going on on both sides. And then they paved what found, I figured out later was the crane pad for the big crane. And Glenbridge Road had to get finished before they could bring the big crane up. But they did build the segment lifter. And that is not the final big crane. That's another one that they were using down the hill. And they used that one at French Broad too, I believe. Anyhow, they had they've had four or five big cranes spread all over this project. But they've got the segment lifter built, they've got the leg going up, and they put up the support columns so that they could build the bridge and not have it fall over. And they put the first two pieces in, and then they built out from there and this was amazing to watch as it moved on 
they just kept adding a segment to both sides and then they put the segment lifter up and i was like okay there's something important with this and i i didn't even find out for another like two months what exactly it did and and how it worked and that's a, a story for another video but they kept building out until the crane couldn't reach both sides and then they moved the segment lifter over and they put a, a segment up on top of the bridge and they'd roll it over on some train tracks a segment lifter would pick it up and put it on the end and then they'd use the big crane to put the segment on the outside on the other side on the outside so that they could build out both directions and as you can see the uh, catch nets for the concrete that got squished out was there and then they closed the freeway for a couple of nights while they built the last sections or place the last segments onto the bridge. And then as you can see there, they put the segments on the end, they pulled them in, anchored them to the end, put the form on, built the rebar and poured the last two feet or so, one or two feet there on that end. And then from there, the race was on to quickly get everybody over to the other side, which we did. No, wait a minute. The race was on to get everybody to where the crane is. So they quickly dug that out. They had three uh, track hoe excavators hammering out the, um, the bedrock there so they could pave it, smooth it, pave it, and get everybody shifted over. And I got to tell you, they were hustling on this really hard. And they got us over, and then it took a little while to make preparations right there beside the crane to move the other lane over to where we're currently running. And this is uh, the end of June, beginning of July. We are still in this layout, but they got everything ready. They built a crane pad over there, brought in a couple hundred tons of, maybe a thousand tons of uh, gravel, put the crane on it. And then they cleaned up the foundation, and I've got that on my bridge updates, and they started building that leg. And I got to tell you, they went fast. I mean, I was a little stunned with exactly how quickly they built it. But then they filled it up with concrete, and they put the support legs on either side. And once it was set enough, they started putting the segments up, and they were, they were gathering segments all of this time. It was wild how many they had brought in, but they had to use the segment lifter because the crane just simply couldn't reach over. But they put the segment lifter up there, they put the segments out, and they built it out. And I'll tell you, when they uh, put the form in on the east side, on the right side of these pictures, I ran across somebody who was in charge of all this, and I asked him about how long it would take him to build the other side, and he said about a year. And sure enough, it took them pretty much right at one year to put up all the segments. And then they had another couple of months worth of work to put in the last segments on the end, tie them together, put the form in, level it up, and pour that concrete. And then they put the segment, not the segment, they put the form in the center of the bridge. They leveled it all out, and they poured the concrete, and that was done before June. In fact, there's April, and the form is in, and by May, I believe that they had poured the concrete. So the bridge structure, the superstructure is done, and now they are building the sides to... Um, they're building forms around the sides as well as putting in rebar, etc., to make the edges and the railing for the new bridge. And we're almost done. These are some pictures that I had during this time, rarely, but I did get a few chances to drive from the other direction. I just usually don't get a chance to come in from i-40 191 because that's a huge detour to travel up there and do that 
and see that. But I did get some shots, and that's the whole bridge. So thank you for watching, and we've got a little bit more to go.